after the triple through the pitch to the brothers inside, the Sandoval, the infield single, he just got a little out of sorts, a little out of focus. You know, I don't know that. I think that's something that you're going to try and maybe look towards first. Maybe he missed location. Um, he pitched so well through the first four innings. Two quick outs in the fifth. Um, you know, he'd spike the couple change ups to Bradley and then at bat. Okay, here we're back in. Here's a fastball. We got a runner at third. We still got an opportunity to get out of the inning. We weren't able to make the pitches or the plays to get out of it quicker than he did. I think seven hitters came with us. Could you take the play after that? Sorry. Could you take a lot from the way he did throw? That. Very encouraged through the first four innings, and you know, the, the entire game he's got 76 pitches. And you know, part of it later in the season, you may let him pitch a little bit more with a DH game. However, we've got guys in the bullpen at that particular point in time, you're looking at the other side of it. If they don't pitch today, they're four days down. Um, I thought he was strong, I thought it was a lot, a lot of what we saw in spring training as far as athletic, good fastball finish, mix of pitches. So, I think there's a there's definitely a, a body of work there to build on moving forward. What was that single by Leon, too? Number nine guy, you know, just totally beats the shift. That's a well-placed bunt on his end. We're well aware of the guys that bunt and when they bunt. It was a situation that uh, they hadn't showed it or he hadn't showed it with two outs and a runner on first. So, you know, they are an opportunistic team. And they got the bunt down, which extended the inning as well.